Most students approach medical school with this idea that they can learn medicine by sheer brute force. They get a couple of textbooks that they like. It's almost invariably first aid and you world questions. And then they simply slog it out. They simply memorize and memorize and memorize. And then they come to their clinical questions and they are lost. Don't think this has changed in the 50 years since I was in medical school. The rules of learning haven't changed. Clinical medicine is built on a foundation of basic medical sciences. When you have a patient, the patient's symptoms and physical exam findings and testing all boil down through the series of steps from the organ that you identify, regional anatomy, surface anatomy, internal anatomy. You've then got to be able to say, tell me how the tissue architecture is structured. Tell me how the cell is structured. Within the cell, can you define the critical ultrastructure of that function? And then the proteins, and then the DNA. Every time I say a complete understanding of a disease, it means you can go from shortness of breath all the way down to the structure of the sarcomere and the autosomal dominant inheritance of the inherited cardiomyopathies. No gaps. And when we use the term structure and function, that structure and function applies every step of the way.